Hi everyone. Today we're talking about rhetorical fallacies. Rhetorical fallacies are arguments that lack sound reasoning and distract readers from the real issues. An argument in a under a rhetorical fallacy is not a fight. Let's look it up in the dictionary. A statement, reason, or fact for or against a point. Making a point about a subject and supporting it with evidence. Hi, today we're talking about rhetorical fallacies. Rhetorical fallacies are arguments that lack sound reasoning and distract readers from the real issues. An argument, in this case, is not a fight. Let's look it up in the dictionary. An argument is a statement, reason, or fact for or against a point. Making a point about a subject and supporting it with evidence. Bias. Read the following. Pigeons are dirtier than you think. They eat trash and leave their droppings wherever they go. Pigeons also carry diseases. One time, I was bitten by a pigeon when I tried to shoo it away. I had to get a shot because the pigeon might have given me a disease. Can you tell how the writer feels about pigeons? Did the writer include any positive thoughts about pigeons? Do you think that the writer's opinion could be changed by facts? So what is a bias? A bias is a prejudice in favor of or against one thing, person, or group compared with another, usually in a way considered to be unfair. <clears throat> it's a strong opinion about something. You may have some facts to support your position, but a bias is based more on feelings and opinions than on facts. <clears throat> What do you notice about these statements? Charlie gazed hopelessly at the endless pile of bills stretching across the counter. My dad is always working. Patty drank from a bottomless glass of Kool-Aid. Allie has a million pair of shoes in her closet. Here's an example of a biased advertisement. One child is holding something that's been banned in America to protect them. Guess which one? Here they're comparing um, the book Little Red Riding Hood with a, an assault rifle. Um, it's obvious that they've got no good feelings at all about guns. Exaggeration. To make an overstatement or to stretch the truth, let's look at those statements again. Charlie gazed hopelessly at the endless pile of bills stretching across the counter. Can the pile of bills really be endless? And what is the author trying to tell you? Her dad is always working. Do you think her dad ever stops working to eat or sleep? What is the author really trying to say? Patty drank from a bottomless glass of Kool-Aid. How can it be a bottomless glass? What does that mean? And Allie has a million pairs of shoes in her closet. Do you think she has a million pairs of shoes? How many shoes do you really think she has? Sorprendentment potents i sorprendentment lleugeres. Així són les noves aspiradores de Electrolux. Aspiradores potents que, a més a més, et cuiden la salut. Electrolux. Ad hominem. This is when it attacks the person instead of the issue. It focuses on people rather than on arguments and evidence. For example, John is out of shape, so he won't make a good mayor. They attacked John, saying he was out of shape, not telling why he would not make a good mayor. Here's something DirecTV won't tell you. They hate puppies. Fact. They charge you every month for HD service. Fact. Time Warner Cable HD is free. Saves you what could be hundreds of dollars. Fact. You can spend those hundreds of dollars on like a mountain of dog food. Fact. 
puppies love dog food. Therefore, DirecTV hates puppies. Who hates puppies? Free HD, DirecTV doesn't have it. Time Warner Cable Digital Cable does. Time Warner Cable, the power of you. Categorical claim. A categorical claim is based on the often faulty logic of relating two things only because they are in the same category. All persons who work hard are persons who will succeed. All flowers are things of beauty. Only things of beauty can be flowers, or all students are responsible adults. Hey, I'm you, from the future. You're me. I know. Drink this. Sparky! Keep drinking! This ad showed that if you drink milk, you're going to automatically be a um, Olympic athlete. I love that commercial. Stereotypes. Stereotypes are general beliefs we use to categorize people, objects, and events. But these beliefs are overstatements that shouldn't be taken literally. Beliefs that group members possess some characteristic. Stereotypes are a fixed general image, characteristics, etc., that a lot of people believe to represent a particular type of person or thing. For example, lawyers are greedy or politicians are liars. Here's an example of a stereotypical ad saying that um, a, woman can't, a woman can open a jar of ketchup. This was obviously for, it was probably around the 40s or 50s that they used this ad, but this is a genuine Del Monte ketchup ad. So easy, a husband could do it. So they're stereotyping husbands that they aren't able to cook. This Mother's Day, get back to the job that really matters, Mr. Clean. They're stereotyping women as the only job that really matters is them cleaning. <laughs> 